comfort of their own living rooms. Covering the latest and greatest news in ARC and the wider survival community. Presented by Ross Clark and JPG. The Survival Evolved Show! Your kids, it's Ross Clark and welcome back. It's the Survival Evolved Show once again with me, Ross Clark and Mr. Jade. Plays games, how we doing, mate? Oi, 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 it's Savoy Lawyer. What's happening? What's happening? What's I'm happening? Good. I'm good, mate. I'm good. I'm good. Talking about things today, mate. A big thing happened, didn't it, recently? Do you know Arc what it was? Stu got announced for mobile. The biggest <laughs> event news ever. <laughs> that's, that's one of them, to be fair. Yeah. What, what is that? Uh, what is that? Uh, that? Uh, I guess we can jump into that. Like, oh, uh, it wasn't on the agenda. No, no, we'll whack that. Well, no, it's, it's, you, you spend 10 days writing out these agendas that I just totally forget about <laughs> yeah. and just talk about other shit. Just look at something else, forget it. Like, exactly. A date was given to us, wasn't it? Recently? Yeah, no, not us, Ross. Not us. Oh, not mate. us. Not us. Not no, us. No, no, no. Someone else. Someone else. Someone else. Inside yeah. info. Big no, big info. shout out to GP. Yeah. Uh, not my cup of tea, but the dude has done good. He's a, he's a ARC moderator. And he uh, basically gave it the lowdown from Doug the Head, the CEO yeah, of Wildcard. The Card. big dog came yeah, out he... and spoke. <laughs> what? I can't believe anyone watching your channel right now doesn't know what we're talking about. But just yeah. in case, yeah, 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 they've announced a whole slew of things and confirmed stuff. And GP's mm. done a really good job of some videos. So Raz has given plenty of shout outs. I've, yeah. I've linked his video as well. You go and check it out with more details. But Absolutely. the lowdown is... Arc 2 will 100% be confirmed coming to PlayStation Crazy. as well as Nintendo Switch at some point. It won't be at the same time as Xbox and PC. They also announced things like Arc 1 and 2 being remade for mobile. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I forgot that so Arc 2 will be coming to mobile. Those are the words. Didn't, didn't he say something about Arc 1 as well for mobile? Or was that just uh, mm, he was just talking about? No. Maybe I've got that wrong. No, but they're, 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 they're going to be acquiring a new developer for the mobile version of R2. That's right. That's uh, that, that was it. They're, put, they're putting out a, yeah, they're, they're looking for somebody, a developer development team to, to do that port. Yeah. And of course, uh, animated series news. So yeah. for the people that don't know, this is all beginning on the 12th of June. Obviously, the Fjordor oh, launch, yeah. which we're going to be talking about a lot today, aren't we? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That, that's it, it that's is, the big it's one. The biggest day. It's the biggest day there ever. It. There it is. Yeah. No, that's not the one. So there what's going to happen there on 12th for us? You you break it down. The to me. 12th. Well, a map that I have highly, highly praised for a long, long time playing the mod version to depth, to depth, is now going to make its way finally to all platforms, excluding Nintendo Switch. I feel like I have to. Always say that when I say all platforms, sadly. You know, you might get it at some point. Who knows? We really don't know. That's another topic to discuss later, maybe. But yeah, all uh, uh, platforms are getting Fjorda on June the 12th. What time? We don't know. Uh, what, and Fjorda, what is it? Well, Fjorda is by far the greatest map I think I have ever, ever played. It is a Viking Nordic themed map with lots of references to Various films out there like Lord of the Rings, the Skyrim references, World of Warcraft references. Whether they stay in, it'd be great to talk about that in a moment. But overall, it's just a great adventuring map that you can go out and explore and just enjoy like you've, you've never enjoyed a map before. Like It's so reminiscent of playing the island for the first time and having these just huge, yeah, these fun times, really looking to see what secrets are revealed in every nook and cranny. And everything is just everything has been spent time on you turn every corner and you can see some new asset new new creation new just aesthetically pleasing piece to the environment and of course it's seeming to integrate a wide range of creatures whether they all come to the official version is yet to be unknown but we do know of course there are four brand new creatures coming to arc with it three of course being shown in the trailers that we've seen quite recently popping up over the last few weeks and the Fenrir which is already in the mod version this is one of the best maps you will ever play for arc big big day and um so when 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 do we think it's going to go live well actually on june the 12th 
It's going to be 1 p.m. EST time is the Xbox Bethesda Showcase. So me and Ryan right, will yeah. be there live. We're going to be dual streaming it together, talking about all the other survival news. I'm hyped for other games like Starfield and stuff, and uh, maybe a bit of State of Decay 3. And obviously, we're going to be covering the Ark Shizzle. So that'll be going live. We're expecting, obviously, since it is an Xbox and PC exclusive, that they will be part of the Xbox Bethesda Showcase on the 12th of June at 1 p.m. EST time. Yeah. That is 10 a.m. PST time. Yeah. And that's 6 p.m. in the UK. And that's about, I would say, 4 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Australian time. I forgot yeah. that right, just about. So, yeah, you'll be waking up to news on the 13th all about Fjordor, about Arc 2. Oh, yeah. Big possibilities about other stuff as well. So, yeah, Absolutely. it could be Arc's biggest day. I can't remember a time well, they've had... So many announcements or so many things happen on that one day. No. And, and let, lest we forget, they've never dropped a map on a Sunday. So yeah, there's a big reason why it's dropping on the Sunday. There must yeah. be. And that is, of course, yeah. as you've just said, the Xbox Game Showcase. They are going to tie this in with Arc 2. Yeah, for sure. New Absolutely. gameplay, a new trailer. Ho yeah, hopefully game gameplay. I hope we do see some... Some actual in-game footage of this time around with whatever trailer that is going to be. It sounds like we're going to get some in-depth specifics throughout that month as per what Doug said in his uh, exchanges to GP. And I've still got my theory that um, because Fjord was a multi-platform map, it would be out on PlayStation as well. I don't think they're going to mention too much about Fjord or other than it might be a trailer that just says Xbox. But don't yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I'd imagine, well. yeah, yeah. But I think the big focus will be on Arc 2. I think later we may even still see some more Arc related stuff at the PC Gamer Show, which takes place around the same time or just mm. a few hours afterwards. I think it's just a couple of hours afterwards. Yeah. So um, I, that's when I expect to see more of a maybe first look at the Fjord or gameplay proper or a little map tour. And then we've got other stuff going on as well. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's big news. I mean, Absolutely. the devs will do this. It's for these big events. It's we assumed it happened in V3, but E3 got cancelled, of course. Mm -hmm. And so this is the next best thing now. And yeah. actually, to be fair, some of us has been as big as E3 doing it digitally a lot of the time, or these showcases and stuff. Um, it's going to be a long one, though. I, I guess what do you guys prefer in chat? Are you going to be watching an hour of Xbox related shizzle? Yeah, just to catch. Or an hour of like general gaming stuff that you might have seen if it was on an mm. E3 show or a PC gaming show. Um, so we are going to hear a lot about Ark and other games on Xbox yeah. for that like hour, which I don't mind because I'm a bit of an Xbox fanboy, it has to be said. Yeah, um, no, there's a lot of exciting things being revealed as well. You know, it's not all about Ark, but for most people here, it will be about Ark. Yeah. Uh, why are they releasing Fjorda on the same day though? Um, just to generate that hype, just to so that it's live now. In fact, I'm right. I'm actually bitterly disappointed they didn't keep it secret. That was what that was my big one. I yeah. said it would happen. Yeah, but I I assumed they were going to do a, 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 a just like they did way back way back when with um, Scorched Earth and just go bam, Arc Fjord Trader here you go enjoy and then yeah. available now and that would have been amazing. I don't understand why Wildcard haven't done that to be honest. Well, they did once Scorched Earth was the only time that they did this, wasn't it? Mm. It was dropped on the day. Uh, hype marketing and all that jazz, I guess, gets thrown into it. But no, my my theory is the reason why they are both dropping on the same day is because we are going to get a delayed date at the end of whatever yes. Arc 2 gameplay trailer we get as a blow softener, seeing that we get Fjorda on the same day. Is that That's a type of blow job, the blow softener? Is that a special one the missus does? It's, and she's half asleep. It's a type of air, yeah, yeah. conditioner. Yeah. Or, or, the, or the hubby. It's Pride Month this month for everyone. That's so it. You, That's it. Whoever, whoever's giving you a, a blow softener, good luck to them. Uh, <laughs> we've gone off rails there a little got bit. We've got a bit off rails. But yeah, Fjorda, mate. Fjorda. Um, there's a lot about this. Um, one thing I've noticed is that the, the trailers, every... Almost every element in the trailers, the, all the locations have changed. They are all different. I've spent time. I have looked at these. I have studied really? the trailers. And I'm dropping a video tomorrow that's going to be more in depth about that plug. Go make sure you watch it. That shows the differences between Mod Fjorda and the actual official Fjorda. It's subtle in places, but 
every location is different in places. There's actually brand new locations that don't exist on the mud. So Right. That's good to know then. Because yeah. it saves me having to worry about doing a hundred days in time because I rage quit the other day. I'm done. <laughs> You've not played it since. Fuck Sorry. Fjordor. <laughs> Fuck it. Awful man. <laughs> They talk about my map, map like that, Jade. <laughs> Awful <laughs> map. <laughs> Awful map. Um, no, it's it's a great map, but I did rage hard. I did. I smashed the keyboard up during halfway during the stream, and then I, I got arced, and you were laughing away, and oh, I, I, I quit. I'm done. I'm not oh, going back to dying. that Let's Play. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Uh, J- um, for the record, Jade got proper, just arced in, in the purest sense. Yeah. Like, you was trying to say Menage, and then things started showing up. And then that was it. It was the snowball effect began. It was yeah, brilliant. Yeah, and it was the last, it was the, you know was what's worst? It was the last few minutes of the stream. I was nearly done. I just went out to go, I just had this brainwave, like, oh, maybe I'll get one now. It'd be easy. I bought stuff to make a trap. The trap was kind of not working, so I haven't made one in like years. Mm. So, but I was getting there and I followed this stupid RG around and yeah, it, it, it ruined me. Absolutely ruined me. <laughs> but yeah, don't, so the, the, the point of that video why i made that video is don't make guides on fjord yet like as much as you want to as much as you know the mud inside and out like me and really want to go to town and create some guides or watching guides don't man it's going to be different it's going to be different yeah i guess the topography a lot of it will be like it definitely the cater sort of tweeted out someone asked him showed him a picture of something or they were hyped for it and he was like wow them pictures are so old yeah so yeah he's obviously done a lot more work to it and stuff yeah, um, absolutely. So, yeah, it's it's definitely going to be... A, I hope... You know what? It's nice as well because it does mean that console players don't feel like they're, you know, seen it all before. They're going to have a bit of a fresher experience. Oh. I think the, the land masses are going to be the same size and shape. I, I just think there's going to be spruces and touch-ups to a, a lot of the entrances to the, the, the realms. And the realms are all going to be there, so don't yeah, worry. Yeah, like, yeah. They're all going to be there. We know that the underground certain sections, like the Dwarven Ruins and stuff, they're going to be the same with the references to Lord of the Rings. But it looks of things, judging by what they were tweeting over the last well, week. Well, yeah, what, uh, the, what they've shown so far, we've seen, yeah, they have the the uh, Mines of Moria or whatever it's called in, in Fjord that still exists. But... There are a lot of references that are very, very close to the wire on being accurate depictions of these, you know, d- different medias. And you've got to wonder, haven't Wildcard like seen these and thought, hang on a minute, can we actually have this in if it's such a close reference to Lord of the Rings? So no, Lord of the Rings isn't old enough yet to be public domain, um, but it's coming close to it. It must be only another sort of five or six years. It's got to be a hundred years, I think. Right, uh, and I'm pretty sure Lord of the Rings was written in after the First World War in like 1925, 1926, something like that. How do you know so, this? <laughs> well, no, so I remember like, studying about Tolkien. I could be wrong. I, like, I've got yeah. a feeling actually he was a pilot in World War Two, actually. So it might be a bit later. In fact, he he, he may have written in 1949 or 1950. Yeah, he had. I think he'd been working and stuff like this, but definitely there were references to. It, you've seen it in, in Mordor yeah. is Nazi Germany. It is anyway. Yeah, get yeah, that's right. Yeah, that, 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 and stuff. But that's yeah, right. Damn. So you're you're a hardcore Lord of the Rings fan then? Uh you maybe yeah, a little bit. Sounds I, like I, you I, are. I, I couldn't recite a fucking poem of you know the Dwarven Lament about Bambino, what the fuck one of the dwarves' names were. But yeah, yeah I've looked in some of it in the past. But yeah, it's going to be good. Um, it is. It jokes is. aside, Fjordor is looking pretty it's obviously got lots going for it with with the different realms and stuff i am and i said this and poor nicator's blessing he came into my stream when i was, I was <laughs> he caught you in a bad I, moment yeah yeah i was about to turn yeah. so he come in as soon as he come in i started bitching about the cold and i was just <laughs> just like i'm done i'm dumb damn I'm done with this oh, to- i'm done with it tolkien served in world war one there we go. I know he's yeah. a pilot or something. I'm sure he was a pilot. So if he's in World War One, he must have been like some of the early planes, no? I'm pretty sure. So um, like, that's well, a well, good deal. Either yeah. way, there, there's a lot of references uh, towards Lord of the Rings, which is is, is part of the, the the magic of the map. I think it really does add an element that it, it's really cool to stumble upon these locations, and you know, and obviously re- re- reminisce over those films or books, whichever one you got stuck into. 
Mm. There's one behind me right now, the, the Black Gates of Mordor. And that alone is, is, is a great feature. The creatures, of course, is, um, is really going to be interesting how those are going to be implemented, how they're going to change the game, the meta, uh, the bat especially. The bat of the Desmodus Dracula is the, the latest flyer, the, well, one of the only flyers we've had in a long time. You know, excluding the Astro Delphis, if you, I don't see that as a flyer. It's not a flappy winged flyer. Like you know, we haven't had anything a rideable flyer for a long time. Like yeah, that. it's going to be good. Do you so, think the Titans are going to be there? So, um, so and that's know. a major thing. How can they not? Because each realm revolves around the Titans. Like you, there's a specific cave in each realm that you go through to, and you travel through to the end in order to summon the Titan that has its own purpose-built arena within that realm that creates the purpose of that realm. Obviously, Vanaheim being such a forest-looking place has the forest Titan. Jotunheim, which is a deathly ice-cold place, has the, the ice Titan, and uh, Asgard with the, with the desert Titan. So it's just... It would be really odd to see how they do it without them. Mm. Yeah. But more more than that, what are they going to do with the portal room, especially for PvP, official? Because people can't block that. You know, you need access to those rooms. What are they going to do to make sure that people can't do that? Are they going to just build a no-build zone? Or are they going to implement something perhaps like uh, Gen 1, where you, know, you can just simply... Swap to them with a H and an A thing. I don't know. It'll be interesting. That is, an, that is one. Yeah, they'd have to block off a big section. And you know, you're right. J.R. Tolkien. I didn't say I was an expert. That was Ross. Uh, said that it was served <laughs> in infantry in yeah. World War One. Yeah. I'm trying to think now. There is definitely someone, another famous writer, that has been like an uh, a pilot in World War Two. I'll have to look that one up. But it's definitely something like related in terms of fantasy. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, but yeah, you've got the Andrew Sarkis, which is reminiscence of a walk from Lord of the Rings. Never made that connection until Nakata said it himself that that he believes that Wildcard actually based it on the walk from Lord of the Rings, which is pretty cool to hear. Yeah, That's... really, they've embraced this this this. Well, this we say it's Lord of the Rings, but of course Nakatus is pretty adamant it's Viking. Flavor yeah, more yeah, yeah. than anything. Like it's got these bases and stuff, but that's why it's so fucking curled. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going. I'm still going to do it. You should, it mate. Should, it I, should not be that fucking cold. I know. It, in it green forest area. That's the element. Like you can't go outside with your pants on and, I and expect to not be warm. <laughs> I had thirty points in my fucking fortitude. <laughs> and I was I still managed to die in a green lush zone. That shit's gonna change or I am rioting right now. <laughs> Mate, great to go to Yosenheim, honestly. Yeah. It's insane. Oh, I've not, I, I so that's as far as I got. That I don't, is as far oh, I don't want to spoil it for you, but Jotunheim, there's nothing colder in the game. No, there's nothing bad, colder. As bad as Murder Lake in It's Fjord, worse. In, uh, Ragnarok, it's so yeah. much worse. Oh god, damn. <laughs> my life. And it's a whole realm. Ah, oh, mate, yeah, yeah. It's good fun. Well, yeah. actually, to be fair, actually, it would be nice to like. How much do do people use the recipes in the game? Like, how many times are people actually using exactly. the this, food and the stuff in the game? This specifically forces you to, and other things makes you makes you start considering uh, insulation much more than I, I ever have before in Ark. Which I think mm. is great. You know, it's forcing an element that you don't, you probably otherwise overlook. Mm. I love that. I think it's great. Yeah, like the, the freer curry. That's what is. It? I'm gonna have to munch yeah. about twenty of them. Am I? <laughs> More than that. <laughs> More than that, mate. Uh, I do yeah. look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. I, my light is massive. The, the lights like, on you, like yeah, it's it's full on beam on your head. Oh, the car says yeah. Hello, mate. Oh, uh, hey, Nikkei, that's just saying how great that was, just... mate. And it's amazing. <laughs> Truly amazing. Amazing stuff, mate. Amazing stuff. But yeah, so Andrew Sarkis, uh, I think that's going to be a yeah a, a mega game changer in the sense that it's got yeah, a 360 degree rotational gun on its back. What bullets will it take? How quickly will it eat them? How much damage they produce? We don't know yet, but this thing looks rapid. Like, what is it? Drifting and being able to be uh, go deep underwater. It looks really cool. I'm really interested to see how that one plays out. And then, of course, the Fjord Hawk, which is so heavily underestimated, in my opinion. I think I've just I've seen a lot of comments of people not 
enjoying that one more than the other two. But I think that's going to be a massive handy tool for anyone in PvP and yeah. PvE that you die, that thing somehow takes the loot off your body and then flies back to where you respawn and gives you your gear. How cool is that? I'm, no I'm very surprised that um, oh, I see a way. few polls and people were voting that the uh, Fjord Hawk was the most um, requested creature, like the most anticipated, most high. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Yeah, I think it was Tio. She did a couple of polls in German and the Fjord Hawk still won. Mm. And I was just like, really? Wow. That looks like. I know it's got a use, so you know people've been educating me and saying more about because you know I read these things, but I don't pay attention too much. But like getting your loot back sounds pretty good. Oh, hundred percent, massive. Yeah. And then being able to send it out to injured prey. I think well, I think it's dead prey, like corpses, and being able to take the loot off them. So in a PvP scenario, I guess, or, or even a PVE scenario, and you're you're far away, but you need to get whatever items are on that that creature. You can now just send your fjord hawk out to do that. What if, is... what if someone's looting your body? Like, obviously, your, your fuel talk's just going to turn up to a, a dead body and with nothing on it. Or do you think it could be a case of, like, the player might have to fight off a fuel talk? That would be great in PvP. Imagine yeah. you're looting it and a body and it, it comes over and you've got to sit there trying to shoot it. Hmm. Might give you that split second. Although, would you want it's... your fuel talk dying? Like, well, this being, is the thing. You know... it, it looks to be quick. Because that was my concern is that. Once it's done, it like can't a player just shoot it down whilst it's flying away? But no, it's um, it looks pretty quick. But on that subject as well, how on earth does it manage render distance and such, and is able to navigate its way to wherever wherever you respawn? How does that work? Well, I think people worry a bit too much about the stasis effect because it was something Wildcard made a big deal out of to yeah. save on rendering and stuff a few years ago. And yeah, it's right. So if you're playing on your single player world, dinosaurs halfway across the map, they're not moving around. Yeah. They're actually just frozen in place in spots. Hence why sometimes if you're a bit fast going into an area, you'll see a titanosaur drop out of the sky or yeah. something else similar <laughs> just appear. Um, because they're literally in stasis in that exact spot. Mm -hmm. I think on official servers, it's not as pronounced because you have always got more players yeah, usually no. around. Yeah, yeah. and uh, there's definitely ways around that as well. So you've got a... Um, I won't worry about it too much. It's not like it's going to be a problem. You're going to find your fuel door stuck in the air because it's you know it can't come get your shit. Um, but yeah, if you die in one of the realms, that's a good question, Hunter. We will do some questions at the end as well, guys, so keep them saving. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. We'll, yeah. And we'll yeah. read them out. But yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah, I mean, if if you can't... Every other map, there is choke points, though. Like in um, in Aberration, you have to go through a certain zone to face off against the final boss, don't you? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. You, you gotta, yeah, gotta so go through... I, I, I can't, it can't really be that different for Fjordor. Like in terms of the realms, or, or do you do you think like that one portal room has to be completely like? Imagine if they did something mad and it was no PvP in there. You could go in there, but it couldn't hurt other players. It's PvE? The hell? Ne never. They wouldn't do it. Well, I mean, how? Because otherwise, yeah, you're right. You could have just a stack of people camping everyone yeah. as they come in and out of the realm. Yeah, it's a it's an issue. I, I want to see how they combat that. It's, it'll be really interesting to see. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, but I'm glad you mentioned bosses because is there going to be a brand new boss for Fjorda? My bets well, are yes. The uh, didn't the wiki um, basically let slip that there are five unannounced creatures coming. Man, wiki's and... messed up. I don't. I, so the thing is, the wiki's managed by uh, fans, isn't it? The community. Yeah. So you can't take what's put in the wiki as gospel because they put the Carcharodontosaurus is dropping with Fjord and it's not. We know that it's dropping. Right. It's dropping at a later date. As, as, like, but then again, they may have leaked it. But we know it's 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 fan ran. So we've got to work on that basis. I don't think. I don't think so. But I I don't know. There's there seems to be a feeling that we're going to get a brand new bus for Fjord as well. So. Well, it would mark the f no. The Crystal Wyvern is the f is the first custom boss for Crystal Wiles, weren't it? And then Lost Island, we had Monkey. So oh. yeah, it kind of fits in now that yeah, we would get a a variant. Yeah, so something not yeah, not um, straight up copy of just another creature. And, and if I, all the bosses are really, 
and if from I, the dragon. Well, and if I had to guess, like I think they, they're going to set it up as they do the Manticore and the mod, which I think is great that you've got the three original bosses, the Brood, the Mega, and the Dragon, but within those arenas are artifacts, and you have to get the artifacts within those arenas, of course, beating those bosses as well at the same time, in order to fight the last boss. I think that's a great set up to do that and currently it's it's the manticore but i think they'll swap out the manticore for whatever this brand new boss is and do it that way right. now yeah. you've got mind racing what boss could it be based on a nordic Viking, a nordic Viking, yeah. yeah yeah i think they'll Influence. do that and yeah could let's be forget your... we've got the um the mini buses itsy and bitsy in the um in the cave and then there's oh crikey steinbjorn the bear in uh Jotunheim and Scatty, no, Hattie and Skull in Asgard. Um, so there's these mini buses that are currently on there, which, yeah, it'll be see, it'll be great to see if they carry over as well and what they do with them. I would normally say they won't have that shit, but I was totally wrong because they did have the Blood Wyverns or the, the Crystal Wiles yeah. variants. So who knows? Maybe they're going to go for it and just chuck it in. It, um, it could be a green Afroed Rask-like character as the the main boss sitting there maybe i'm sure syntax got to be the ultimate boss enemy though, he's, isn't he? he's already got a titan like so Has he? he's got tight he's the he's the boss in titan do you know that <laughs> anyway he is the boss in titan so yeah I, i'm claiming fjorda <laughs> god well, i'm not covering that map then um please don't put tubers in your maps oh, he, he's doing it like, he's not, not, not like, like for like but yeah anyway right okay. anyway uh, so a crazy bastard. I'm only fucking about people. Thank you for pinch of salt. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just out for eight bait clicks and likes. That's it. Um, That's it. But yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Yeah, so uh, mini buses. We got a bunch of those. No, I, I want to go back to this boss thing. Hang on, okay, hang yeah, on. go on. Norse, got, Norse gods and bosses. I, I, we're coming out with them. chat. Who do you think the bus is going to be? If we're going to get a bus, let's see those comments and uh, we'll address them shortly. Um, I'm interested. I think it'll be something. If it is, it'll be something very Nordic based. I'm hoping. So your Munda is a sea serpent boss. It's oh, a massive. Imagine a yeah, 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 yeah. Titan boa. Yeah, another one. Yeah. So variant on Titan boa that could be interesting, and different for the game. Yeah. But obviously, if the arena's built for a manticore, if it was a flying one, currently, yeah. Maybe a Valkyrie style creature wouldn't Ooh. fit with the lore, but it you know it'd be scary as fuck having it in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thor. So, <laughs> obsessed four. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, so you got four's hammer. Yeah. So who who's four four? Oh, there we go. I'm gonna fucking start looking it up now. See four. And, and what they've done with the hammer in the mod version is great, and it'll be I'll be interested to see how that one works because to get the hammer currently you need to get <sighs> aberration artifacts that are spread across he, the map. Go his on. nemesis is Jamanda. The huge monster serpent. Oh, right. So you yeah. think maybe they're going to incorporate all that. You've got to get the hammer. Yeah. So how about this? I'm going to put that in a video tomorrow. Uh, Ark Fjordor's final boss revealed. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Confirmed. Before Confirmed. 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 Uh, maybe. Yeah, no, maybe. The, the thought the hammer will be incorporated somehow because, yeah, currently you to get the hammer, the hammer skin that, changes what well, that will eventually change your weapon your tech sword into a new weapon with new brand new abilities uh you have to get artifacts the aberration artifacts in particular to open a specific door in asgard to access it what about if they switched it up so instead of the artifacts in the bus arenas to summon the manticore it was the artifacts to get into the room to get the hammer that you needed to beat the serpent new serpent bus ah I'm yeah, loving it. That, that That'd be cool. That could work. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, it's not going to be Fen. I would say like Fenma, but we're going to have Fenma. We've got, so we're going to be able to tame them, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to be able to get them. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of giants as well. There's Halogi. That's like the fire giant in 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 thingy. Then you've got uh and 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 oh God, so I'm going to murder these names and I know the case is going to Adril Boga, Adril Boga, she's like the sort of dark elven witch wife of Loki. That won't be it. No, she's too she's too humanoid. Um, you got Jotna or Jot, or, or I think the Ice Giant. 
that's 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 a, an obvious one. But again, that could be a reskinned. <laughs> um, a, a, what's the the guys on Scorch that throw the rocks? They look like rocks as well. Come on. I know what they're you know about. Come on, creatures that throw rocks. They look like rocks. In art. Golems. In art. Rock Golems. Elements. Yeah, rock Elements. Yeah, rock Elements. Ah, yeah, imagine if we rock Elemental. I've, 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 I've got a theory, right, that what I think they'll do with... Because uh, the Mines of Moria is there, and obviously in, in Lord of the Rings there's a cave troll. What if they, they put a rock golem in there, and then there's the bridge at the end of the Mines of Moria where obviously the... Um, Gandalf and the Hobbits are running off and, you know, he turns around to the Balrog and, shout, and shouts, you shut up, us. They do a lava elemental there. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that's, Imagine so, yeah, that. that's, Hel that's Halogi. Halogi's like a horned demon. Um, and then we've got, Sass yeah, we've got like a sand god as well, or lightning god. that does like well storms and stuff like that. They all sound too humanoid. So I'm going to go with it. Although chat has done a really serious one, Raz, that we haven't really oh, yeah? completed. Go on. Vin Diesel. Oh yeah, that's the one. <laughs> it's Vin is it's the gonna come boss. in in his in his in his souped up uh, too yeah. fast, too furious car. Say one last ride, and then you got to like dodge and bob and weave the car, like do backflips, yeah. and then pop a cap in his ass, and that's it. You beat uh, Fjorda. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, that'd yeah. be great. That'd yeah. be done. Super yeah. jobs. Super jobs. Um, <laughs> uh, Viking skins. So currently in the mud. Um, Every almost every cave has crates that uh, offer you Viking skins that you know are just yes, just skins, but it, it, it's such cool, unique armor sets. It makes uh, going to explore every cave worthwhile. It offers you a bit of an incentive to go and explore other caves. You find one, you think, oh damn, what other caves have got these Viking skins in? Because not all of them can have artifacts in. So I really, really hope they they. Continue that on with the official version. Um, yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah. Like I, they, they've been throwing skins out left, right, or centre for these events, so I yeah. can't see why they can't do something. So I'm fair play to the caters to doing that stuff and hoping that you know it's it's all going to be included. Um, yeah, it's just it sounds good. So you know what? Like I, obviously, jokes aside, everything I've seen my limit because I've been avoiding it. I have until recently. I've not played Fjord or. I was trying to do 100 days, never going to happen off it. It's day 18. Because <laughs> um, I haven't played, I really haven't played Ark properly, like consistently. You know, like where you get sweaty with it and you're doing daily videos. Yeah. I haven't done that for like two and a half years now. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And from what I see, Nikatis is a great map maker. Did a good job with Valguero. Yeah, man. And I always prefer modders' maps to the actual official maps. So I'm totally down for exploring a world made by someone that I can trust has, has already done a good job. It's obviously got the most reviews. I think he posted as well the other day. Recently, that yeah. Like the most, That's yeah. That's right. It, it's the most rated mod map ever now. Yeah. And deserved. So, fully deserved. It, it's it's yeah. such a great map. And what's surprising is, I think the Carter's told, told me this before, it's actually the size of the island, believe it or not, in terms of... of um, the overworld, the overworld, but it's got so much depth to it. It doesn't feel like it is. It's it's crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say because people get the ump on me when I say I don't like Ragnarok because it's too big. What I really meant to say was I don't like Ragnarok because it gets it's too empty. It's these giant biomes that just go on and on and on, and it kind of is the same shit we've seen everywhere else. Yeah, like they've literally put the scorched earth desert in. Uh, you know, parts of it. Like, look, don't get me wrong. There are beautiful spots in Ragnarok, but a lot of it ends up just being quite samey, large, and it feels unnecessary large with not much going into it. And I feel like we already in my little tours that I have done, where I've just flew around briefly in cheat mode a couple of weeks ago, the overworld of Fjordor doesn't feel like that. It feels like mm. it's it's just about the right size. The biomes look the kind yeah. of the right size. Absolutely, don't look overdone. Is in, that's what you want from a map. You don't want it to be so big it, it, you get bored of flying through it. You want mm. there to be interesting pieces, interesting places, and stuff to discover. Yeah. And and everyone loves a ruin. Although I'm still a bit, I I like ruins in games, but it's always that question of um, the build tiles don't match, and so a lot of the time you have to work really hard to build something that matches the scenery around it. So if you build inside that's where I'm building. Right. Yeah, that massive fault, 
you know, some of your building pieces, it's just, it's very, it just doesn't sit well sometimes. So, well, this is you some, know, I'm, it's weird. Something that this map has that I don't feel like any other is addressed, at least in, not in this scale, is the amount of like mini villages and huts you can build in and, you know, and create a sort of like, yeah, a, a, your build base location around it. And there's yeah. lots of those dotted around all over the place. I could see a lot of people, especially uh, in PvE, yeah, taking advantage of that and just yeah, having this, you know, this, this Hobbiton lifestyle in a, yeah. a little village. It's it's really cool. Really looking forward to it. Absolutely. Uh, not long um, left to go. When do you think it will go live? Like, is Ooh. it going to go live the minute they do Dude. the trailer, or do you think they're going to say it's going live in like two hours? <sighs> I would obviously, ideally, you know, it would be great. Then, what's that? That's uh, what time is it? Air time? That's it's going to six. be um, six p.m. in UK. Yeah. Great oh, time to nice, do it. Isn't it? Great hey? time. Not, not me and you staying up till five <laughs> o'clock, six <laughs> o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, that'd I've be done a great that. time. But... Did I do that last year? But I did do that last year and year before. I'm pretty sure. Haven't they said before that the team aren't, don't work weekends? I could have sworn, or is it the uh, the moderation team or the GMs? I'm, I'm, oh, I'm sure. I've I mean, heard that. they'll be they'll be there. They just give them a day off. It's not like it's set in stone. You'll yeah. never work as weekends. Well, they're yeah. Just yeah. They're, they're going to pay them some double bubble or yeah. uh, give them an extra day off in lieu. Mm. Um, it's it's a fairly normal. But to be fair, apart from the live operations team, which is usually pretty small, maybe only like four or five people, um, and obviously the main guys, the engineers. Um, that's all you really need for a launch. Like, it's not going to be all 90 developers that work on Arc there. Half of them are working on Arc 2. So you'd be lucky if Arc is actually being developed by more than 40 people. So I reckon, yeah, about five or six of them will be working on Sunday. You don't, um, you don't think something's going to break on release? I, you know, we've been hearing no release dates from the devs yeah and they've took that on board because the amount of times they get their ass slapped for how many delays there are even if it's a week a month whatever it is so fair play don't give us a date give us the month but they have been extremely confident you know like the chats we've had in the little creative discord yeah. and stuff they're like june 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 always been june it's been june for a it's long always time been june yeah and the fact that they've got it ready for the stadia as well in june it's yeah coming live Epic Game Store in June. So I actually think they've had this nailed and ready for the last maybe two months. I I think they might have wanted to release it a bit earlier, but because they are going to announce that Arc 2 is delayed, mm. they've saved it and saved it until June yeah, I'd agree. to make yeah. up for that. So yeah. I think we could potentially have one of the best... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this... We could have one of the best launched arc maps ever. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa. I, hold up. A wild card are staggering. They're falling off their chairs. Did Jay yeah, just I say? I know. I can't believe it. It'll be, it won't be as many problems. You're not going to lose your characters transferring. You're not going to have rollbacks every two seconds. It's well, going to be, be fair, fine. I don't, I don't recall any standout issues with Last Island when it dropped. Um so yeah, no, it, I think it's got the potential to, you know, there's always that worry because it happens, but um, fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's going to be a mad day, mate. It's going to be a big day because I know yeah. I'm trying, I'm working out a dick. So, so Raz, fucking heart part-timer here, only covers one game. He hasn't I'm, got to worry I'm, I'm about it. very glad game. I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, should we do my little blurb now? So if Go on. on that day, we've got a whole bunch of other shit going live. So we are expecting to see news about um, Starfield, which is a survival game. Maybe a new teaser or gameplay trailer for State of Decay 3. Grounded 1.0 is going to be announced on that day. Um, two days beforehand, we've got Nightingale. That's the new big survival game that I'm going to be devoting my channel to once it goes live. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that we're going to hopefully see as well. More Sons of the Forest gameplay, um, a bunch of other survival games that like indie ones and little ones that have all got big news. Core Keepers got stuff going on. Valheim might be showing off their Mistlands update that's incoming. Uh, so there's like Conan Exiles on the same day on the 12th because they really think their dick's bigger than Ark. Oh. They're going to be revealing all their 3.0 <laughs> update and stuff. They're going to be revealing possibly some new DLC um, and maybe a little look at June. In mm. June. 
their future survival MMO and game and stuff like that. That's that's going to happen. So yeah, it's a big old time for me over them few days. Oh, it's a massive day. It's a massive yeah. day. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so but we're going to be there. I'm going to be streaming actually a bunch of them days. I'm hoping Raz is going to join me for some. Hundred percent. We're dual um, streaming. We're we're going yeah, out. We're going to do everybody. the Xbox Bethesda showcase together. Hundred percent. Oh yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, going to so, try and rope Raz into some of the early ones and the other days. Yeah. So you've got the state of play with PlayStation on June the second, which is tomorrow. The could only be something there. Um, only expecting Tribes of Midgard survival mode and may and Little Devil Inside. I've seen confirmed. We'll right. see a gameplay trailer for that. That's another survival game. But other than that, not much else for PlayStation. It sucks to be a PlayStation fan. It does. Survival. It, it really does. does. It's yeah. awful. They've got nothing new yeah. in the next year and a bit. Absolutely nothing. So, uh, yeah. Um, but then, yeah, PlayStation. And then we've got the Summer Games Fest. That kicks it off June 9th. Mm -hmm. That's when Nightingale does their announcement. Um, and then we've got a few other little windy ones. We've got... Core Keeper on the 10th. Then on the 12th, we've got the big one. And like I said, PC mm. Game Show afterwards. That's when we'll see Conan Exiles announce their shit as well. Um, so, yeah, it's it's all good. So, um, what have we got to be excited about regarding Art 2? What are we going to see, Jade? What's going to happen? Um, it is going to say, I think it's going to say February 2023. I can't see. I, I, I'd going... like to say it'd be later or earlier, but it's not. It's going to be delayed to 2023. I think we'll yeah. see another CGI trailer. I don't think we're going to see any um, gameplay. Damn, you're going there. See, I, yeah. I, I, I'm with the date. Uh, it's going to be next year. Like, it's crazy that some people still think it's this year. It's it's crazy that so many have accepted it's going to be next year. It's going to be next year. I, I'm so certain of it. And um, I, I don't know. I think they, 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 they've got to show something that's a bit in engine. I guess this, nah. the, the trailer is, isn't it, in a sense? It, it's, I mean, it's using the assets. But I think we want to see something more than just a cinematic. They've got to. But no, but um, when you look, think about, think about uh, I would say, Extinction and some of them other ones. We never saw the trailers until like a few days or weeks before when we had the charity events and stuff like that and although this is a big tentpole thing i just feel like they're still really developing this game a lot i i don't yeah i feel like that one. yeah yeah i still think they're gonna go in early access next year when it does launch possibly i don't think it's gonna um, be a finished product yeah possibly. Uh, hence why um that's why they, they're confident and happy enough to do a money grabbing deal with xbox because they know the game's not going to be done, and so they can use that excuse that PlayStation don't accept early access games. Yeah, but if they're going for the AAA, they're doing early access isn't the way, is it? Is it? Well, is it or not? Like, I mean, what do people prefer? The lies that you buy something like Anthem, and it's fucked, hasn't got a decent bit of gameplay in it to save your life, but you've spent mm. 60 quid for it? Or would you prefer a developer says, you know what, this will be a AAA game, or it will be one of the best, biggest played games going, yeah. but we're going to take two years to develop it. It's only 25, 30 quid. Here you go. I don't know. I feel like Possibly. nowadays people are wise to it. They're, they're not going to tolerate it. Like it, it generates more bad, bad publicity if your game's really shit. Um, yeah. So early access. And Doug the Head, our favourite mate, he has said extensively in interviews I've shown a bunch of times over the years um, that it is indeed going... They've, they'll use early access again. Okay, I thought he was going to jump on the NFT thing. Oh, no, no. I mean, I'm hoping... <laughs> he says it. He said they, they, they want to capitalise on NFTs with art too. I think a lot of developers will be walking that back now. But, like, yeah, listen. since then, I know, yeah, the wildcard employees have been open about how... Strongly, they disagree with that on Twitter. So, who knows what's Dumb happened? Them. Well, not the lead designer. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's he seems pretty. If you check out who he likes and who he follows, he's he's pretty. It's yeah, a, he's yeah. liking a lot of NFT related well, shit. It's a it's a minefield of of people that are you know are dead against it and and for so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do with that if they do pursue it. Mm -hmm. Or not. I don't think the early access price will be as cheap as it was, actually. Krabby's made a good point. I no. think it will be like 35, 40 quid still. Yeah, I'd imagine. Um, they, they, they don't need to do, do it. They, they've already got that fan base there. Why would they 
try to f- yeah uh, super cheap flag something to... to fans that are already existing yeah well no man's sky at Baha is the is the there's only like five games that have done that basically mm. no man's sky rainbow six siege yeah you try and name me another game and i'll probably shit on it and say no nah, it's not really done that well um and no one wants that. Arc have, can do it. Arc love it because it means they can test stuff out. They can yeah. throw new features in and all blame it on early access, which will drive <laughs> me nuts. It will because it used to drive me nuts in early access. But yeah. I have learned more and more now. How games are made, and I'm more understanding of the problems in early access and and how things. You just have to say it's early access. I do get that now. In fact, I'd prefer that than it did launch and it was still a clusterfuck. Like, everyone's... Pra- like, I don't know why people have got this idea that the next art game is going to be amazing. It won't have technical issues or it's going to, like... They've had six years with each map release not to have technical issues, but mm. every single one of them has had substantial issues on consoles, at least. Maybe not PC because it gets mm. fixed quick. But consoles. So I just don't buy that they've learned and this next game is going to be... Uh, uh, to some extent, but I don't think it's going to be as smooth as some people think. Warning I now. think Warning. To... To some extent, though, you know, we we know there's there's rough foundations that Arc One's built on that they've been trying to keep rebuilding on, and 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 it crumbles and it crumbles and they keep rebuilding and it crumbles, and they must surely recognise that and go, okay, let's get it right from the from, right from the off and make sure we're nice and solid from the ground up with Arc Two, and not that you know that's excusing that. Uh, there'll be issues. There will be issues. Every game, yeah, it's well, terrible to even accept that, isn't it? That you yeah, know, oh, a game comes out, oh, issues are going to happen. That's a bad thing to say. It shouldn't be that yeah. way. Any, no. so, you know, a film doesn't come out, and 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 you know, halfway through, I don't know, Tommy uh, like glitches across the screen. You go, ah, oh, just a film. It's all right. You can't, You shouldn't accept it. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Yeah, um, that's right. Yeah, but we do. But we do. But we do. Um, it's just, the, 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 there's just not that many games like Ark has, was the one that reinvented survival in a way because Minecraft did it it made it popular Ark refined it and made it its own thing and catapulted it to I would say mainstream survival was still something a lot of us liked the idea of and a grown up uh, uh, Minecraft but Ark really was the one that really made it ultra popular and, and and made it good. So mm. they have got a lot to deliver on. Like pressure's there because they keep piping themselves up as AAA developers. So deliver us a AAA game. Don't don't fuck about that. Do yeah. Creators go. Like Stand that's one good thing, Raz. You yeah. getting on it. I said to you like when we first started talking about it, covering news for Art 2 if they go early access is going to be amazing for us. Oh yeah. Because yeah. we'll just have proper content every month. It what mm. blew up my channel. It will blow up yours even more. Hopefully, yeah. And it'll just be such a good thing. And it, do you know what? Now we're in a stage where we've got more relationships with devs and they're streamlined as well. I hope they carry on that same relationship. They do do early access. Yeah. I don't want them to shut things off too much where they don't really interact or we don't see like maybe they only update once a quarter. I hope it is monthly updates. I, I really do. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But they were working probably crunch hours during all that period. So that's the other flip side. I don't want the devs burning out. So maybe it won't be the same way. It's like every month. Maybe it will be like every three months we get a major update for Arc Two. This is all speculation. We don't know any of this. We don't. It may launch perfectly don't know fine. Beam. But yeah, we don't, don't know. know. All speculation. But um. But yeah, Arc Two. They'll show off. I think a cinematic trailer again. Release date twenty twenty three February. Then straight after, a little clip plus Fjordor available now, all platforms. Then oh. they'll also show off the animated series show, and I think that's going to go live on like... Um, Maybe, yeah. It must be Amazon, because we've discovered that it's not going to be Netflix. Well, yeah, it, it, everything that's been released is pointing towards uh, HBO, um, which is a US exclusive thing. So how that transitions to everybody else... In the UK, usually HBO is Sky. Right. So it'll be like... Don't do Sky. It'll it'll be like, yeah, now, it'll be like uh, uh, Sky Atlantic or, um, yeah, it'll be some of the ones that just appeared and stuff like that. Mm. I I can't remember. I can't see... uh, Some some HBO series do launch on other platforms, but the vast majority of exclusive first launches for the series 
usually go to Sky. Mm. So yeah, that's the UK one here, which people like and people don't like. They're like the big, they're the biggest cable branch in the UK. Um, yeah, for it. There's a lot going on on that day, though. The, the, honestly, like, I'm not stressing Ooh, it. Yeah. That it's not a clickbait title. June the no, 12th really is. is Ark's biggest day. Yeah, because apparently yeah. we might see. And we're not going to see anything for Ark Two for mobile. Um, or the Switch. That was the other thing they mentioned. They said it was coming to the PlayStation and Switch. Um, and Switch? What? The Switch. <laughs> what? The Switch, the Switch is the funniest <laughs> one there, yeah. No, no way. There's, well, no. the, there's, there's obviously, there's been rumoured a while. Nintendo are getting to the end. They're not the end. They're still outselling PlayStation at the moment yeah, in terms of console. Yeah, still performing well. Um, but they are, they're, they're going to have a, a, another Switch version out next year by Looks Things. Yeah. And it will be like a 4K version or slightly more dense. Not not just the, the OLED version they've just had, but an actual proper souped up one. So by the time Art comes out in early access, out of early access as a full release on all platforms, you can well imagine it might be two years, three mm-hmm. years from next year. So it could be 2025. By then, I'm sure a Switch will be able to handle moderately and look as shit as Arc 1 does on a Switch. Arc 2 will look and just as shit as it does. But, you know, it'll be playable, maybe. Yeah, in some form. In yeah, some we form. haven't even spoke about it. I mean, Arc, in September, we've got the, 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 the revamp of Arc on Switch. Yeah. Which, I am, you know what? I am fucking... I'm going to fucking... Oh, run. it's going there! I'm Come on! Running. Let's go for it. Where's the, where's the crowd at? <laughs> Jay's going off! <laughs> What are you saying, mate? I think if you are going to revamp something you've already sold, which you underdelivered and overpromised, you should give as much info as possible. They give fuck all information in their release about the Switch. Just saying that DLC is coming. No ex- mention about the the free maps. No mention if it's going to be cloud based because everyone's wondering how the fuck you're going to fit four DLCs onto a as either a cartridge yeah. or is it going to be you're going to need one memory card to hold each map on, on a Switch. Um, there's a whole bunch of shit they should have answered. And I reached out to them, totally ignored me, and I haven't seen them mention it anywhere else. I'm sorry. It's, it's yeah, so it's weird. Like, what, why really just drop a post and that's it? Don't don't go in any further detail. It's, it's, like it's, it's very good. bizarre. It's nice that yeah, you want to yeah. read- yeah, but Jeez. the other thing is as well, like, yeah, let's let's make sure everyone's getting that same shit, like, you know, uh, and yeah, there's this whole yeah. like beginner mode, uh, that yeah, there's gonna seem to be exclusive to just switch. What's that all about? Yes, yeah. we need to know if Print right, Plus is gonna be on it or not. I hope yeah. not. Um, you know, is it gonna be the same price as buying the expansions, the same as the original base game? Like, have I got to then spend more money just to get? The, the explorer mode that's coming with it. Why are other platforms not getting explorer mode? Um, there's there's a lot of things to answer. And I know it'd be different if the game was new. And, you know, you expect devs to be a bit more cagey. But this six-year-old game, it's been out on Switch for nearly three years. Yeah. Come on now. Come on, give us the fucking info. Don't, yeah. don't piss about. <laughs> So yeah, there we go. We need like a, a mic drop sound effect after yeah. that. Man. Right. That's, Sorry, that's said if you're watching or listening, he says he, <laughs> he, he likes me when I'm calm. Is it? Uh, yeah. But yeah, sometimes listen, you just got to go. Oh, no, fuck that. Well, listen, t- time's getting on. Uh, chat questions. Talk to us. Questions. What? What? What are you saying? What are you asking? Yeah. What are you questions in. Let's bring them. Let's see them. Let's listen to them. Let's respond. Let's communicate. Uh, you versus someone's asking us. about Steam Deck. It Steam runs Deck, not bad on the actual handheld. I've, I've played it. You, I've done some I streams and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you can't really connect it to a telly because it loses all its resolution. It just gets stretched out. It's not what I thought Steam Deck would be able to do. Not not necessarily Arc's problem or fault. I imagine the Steam Deck would be something that I could plug into my telly, yeah. and play on my couch, but it doesn't give any boosts so it's better when you play it on your handheld and it, it's not as bad it's still not the best way to play arc but it's better than switch so if you've got the money you want to drop it on steam Deck to play a bunch of pc games and you can play all the mods so that is one good thing yeah on, that's pretty cool yeah yeah that is. yeah it's good and it all gets installed onto the steam deck like i assume the storage mm-hmm. isn't hot we can get I, I different versions with ssd um, right. bigger Bigger ones, but right. I, I got the cheapest one with um just micro SD cards. 
I bought myself uh, a 500 gig one for like, you know, 20 quid, 25 quid or whatever it was. And that, I had to make sure I didn't download all of Ark's maps on it. But you can, you know, as long as you rotate out, you'll be all right. Uh, right, let's go for some of these questions. Go on then. I wonder if Prim Plus will work on Fjordor. Because um, it doesn't for Lost Island. Oh, no. Prim Plus has been abandoned, forgotten. Uh, it's gone. Said, gone. like, specifically addressed that they They're don't support it. it anymore. That's it. It's done. It's over. It's gone. Yeah, that's it. When is there going to be a TV show? Well, apparently, Zachary, they, uh, they've they got three movies in the works, according to Doug the Head. Oh, yeah. He's on it. Uh, mm -hmm. My speculation is that whoever they've got a deal with with the animated TV series, because they funded and created it all themselves in-house, that the deal will be struck that, look... If it performs well with you, then you fund our live action films. I think mm -hmm. that's the plan. I think that's, that's what um, we'll do. I don't think they'll release Art 2 until June next year. No, I think it'll be if February's becoming like the, the next best spot to release a game mm. after November, October. Yeah, perhaps, yeah. So I think it would be February or they'll leave it until the end of the year, until November, which will kill the arc one crowd. But oh well. It's too, um, it's too late, isn't it? Like, if you're heading towards summer, that's a long time. It uh, is. But they need the arc drops. one to die. We've got to let it die so people mm. want to play the next game. If yes, there's mate, too much going on, this, people won't leave. There's still so many players that want arc two to fail so they can continue supporting arc one. Why is that? What is that? Yeah, we've had a run. If if they'd released this after two years, I'd be like, no, fuck you, wild cards. But six years of <laughs> it's support. It's a long enough match, time. You, it's, yeah, we can move time. on, people. Dip your hands in your pocket, you tight words. <laughs> um, so much. I feel Arc 2 will focus less on sandbox and a lot more on story base, says Baha. Uh, thoughts? That's the big rumour. We said it mentioned a couple times now that someone's saying that we'll play as Vin Diesel in single player. Not a prayer. I, I've... And I've... <laughs> Not a prayer, man. It's going to be man. a full story, full, full, nah. you know, we are family every two minutes. Because someone will mud that and then there'll be weird, like, no. Like, weird things going on with Vin and his, his, his private parts. Nah. They're not going to do yeah, it. Maybe. Um, do you think they're going to keep Wyvern Trenches for Fjordor? Yes. Wy Wyverns yeah, aren't 100%. Yeah, 100%. anymore. They're on loads of maps. Nah, yeah. Uh, Wyverns will stay. I, I think a lot of people will stay. I think the Magmas will stay. I I think I think there's a good chance the Rock Drakes will will come. People want to see Rock Drakes, and I know up until now it's, they've been exclusive to Aberration, but I think this is going to be the one that says no. This is we're going to throw it all out, and you can have Rock Drakes on a free map. Finally, yeah. I, I um, do you think Art Two left bosses? Yes. Oh uh, yeah. Arc One B Day tomorrow. How is it tomorrow? It's July. Not June, oh, it's, it? it's anniversary. Yeah, July. Was it, it June? It, it's the second. Yeah, July. it's tomorrow. Yeah, it's tomorrow. It's June tomorrow. It's June. Is it June or July that art came out? No, I think it... Oh, isn't it June? I thought it was July. I, I feel like it was June. Oh, I think, right. think yeah, it's yeah. tomorrow, the anniversary. So, so tomorrow's community crunch might be might be uh, Friday's yeah, yeah. community crunch might be mega. They might they might do something to celebrate that. It's a valid point. Yeah, yeah. It's a valid point. Have a little tease or something I mean, in the wilds. I ain't gonna be around for that. I'm I'm uh, dressing up as the queen. I, you mean, I might get a fucking video that does well this week, will I? <laughs> uh, let's go with this question some more. On. Will the shadow main stay? I think no. I think they're still too close to the last DLC. They don't bit, mind yeah. adding them in, but they a bit oh. of time. Yeah, it's a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. I think that I, that's why I think they could have the Extinction Titans because it's been that long. It's been now. a long time, and if there's a map to do it, yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have any info on PS5 enhancements? No, nah, they're going to abandon that. It's gone. Uh, it's gone. I don't think I'll see you. See ya, enhancement. Nice to and know yeah, you. I'll, Arc oh. 2 will only be available on Xbox Series X and S. Or on yeah, your Xbox like, through but, cloud gaming. If it comes out on the Switch, why can't it come out on the PS4 and the Xbox I, One? I, I honestly think it's down to them with that exclusivity deal with Xbox that you can only say it'll be X Series X and it's S. It's got to be. Like, there's no, yeah. like, they're already struggling to, um, to get the later maps running on the older generation consoles. There's no way... Yeah. It's going to come. 
to get the sequel. And and as we said, it by in three years' time there'll be a new version to switch out, which will yeah. have you know a new processor, a new graphics card, so it will be more in line with mm. Series um, S. Uh, so yeah, let's not that there. Um, do you think that there should be more variety in official servers in Arc Two, like official servers that wipe, but official servers that don't wipe? Other than just like the APOC and stuff, yeah, why not? We should have more choice. The problem is though, well, we do have choice. It's there. Yeah, well, well, they have tinkered. Like, how many no tame servers do we still have up and running? How many? We, we, um, they've got ORP servers running. They've got Arc, the Arc Park. Small tribes, official. That they've got a variety to be fit in defense for them. What, yeah. like, what's going wrong there? Because I see a lot of people commenting about this, and yeah, okay, it is exclusive to PC, and perhaps that's the issue that it is. But um, perhaps there's too many, there's too much variety. Mm. Perhaps that's the issue. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, they've tried... Yeah, they have tried some stuff. I feel like it just... Maybe it doesn't get spoken about enough sometimes. Well, some of them are, so there's, there's not many, enough of them as people want, like small the, tribes. The one and only thing that mobile seems to do well is this PVX mode. You aware of that? No. So, I haven't seen it myself, uh, but apparently they, they've got a mode where there's... A, well, what we was talking about with Fjorda, there's a, there's a PVP zone. So it's PVE areas all around it and the PVP zone within the middle. But it rotates. It's uh, it's, in, gotcha, it's interesting. Gotcha, gotcha. It's like a clock and then it rot- it moves around and then this area is PVP, then this area is PVP. It's, in, it's an interesting concept that I think... It, yeah, I wonder why Wildcard never adopted that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It will come to PlayStation, but PlayStation 5 people, by the way, not PlayStation 4. Forget that. It's in not, two man. years, eventually, when it, what does arrive? Remember, it's going to be a year of exclusivity for, for they, PlayStation. They've never confirmed that, or yeah, but it's not. I'm, I, yeah, yeah. If you're no, they have. I'm. Well, if, they, if they say, I'm sure in the announcement it said yes, Series X and S. So you can imagine it's not going to be PlayStation Four mm. in a year's like. No, and obviously the years times when Arc begins, Arc Two. So then it'll be another year. So you're not going to get to play on PlayStation. I promise you. You're not going to be able to play Ark until 2024. Oh, you're that going there? Like... <laughs> no, mate, it's so I, I'm saying maybe December 2023. All right, that's a no, long enough be... time. Damn. Microsoft aren't giving them millions. To, to only that's keep a it long... Oh, months. no. It'll that, be that, a full year. That's them writ off. That's terrible. I know yeah. I know. that's the, the, the game of paid deals, and I'm, I'm perhaps I'm in denial with it. Uh, but damn, that's a long time, mate. You said, and the Kate said, old oh, gen slow down Arc on PC long enough, though. But did it, like, if you're a developer, it's on you to make sure your shit runs nicely and appropriately on all your platforms. If it doesn't, then you've got to find a solution rather than just, like, blame or say something slow. Like, you're, you're the developer in charge of putting that on that platform. So... Well, that's why it's interesting we've... that we know that... Ex- uh, originally, Art 2 was meant to come after Extinction. Yes, and then they just started milking because they were still making a shit ton of money from I it. Guess. And they, 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 Atlas fucked up. Um, yeah, Atlas it was the didn't one. Didn't generate yeah. as much money as they needed. Um, yeah. So, without console support, Art wouldn't be as big. No way be as big as it was it'd be just it'd mm. be another it'd be a rust it'd be big but it wouldn't be as big mm. console were like the most played platforms now with games pass and being free in the playstation recently like they probably outnumber pc players two to one yeah um so yeah i'm sticking up for my console fanboys my homeboys <laughs> started and it will uh, there no, mate no, you know. this is right though yeah. but uh, like but that's all gaming like and it's not just actually pcs like you think about a moderate player that doesn't own a super pc they don't want to play on potato mode on their 970 or their 1060 yeah. GTX graphics cards. Yeah. But they've, they've been doing that probably with Arc for a while now. And Arc's never been that great, actually, performance-wise on PC. So I think Arc 2, hopefully, if we believe all the bollocks, will be improved on all that. And it will be much more optimized and it will be easier and it won't be as many problems. And even if you haven't got the best supercomputer, you'll be able to play it nicely. But yeah, but like, that's what Nakata's just replied to me. Like... When art came to console, next gen wasn't even a thing then. That's why they yeah. came to console. It, like, yeah, it wasn't even on the cards. Um, 
But yeah, they quickly realised. Oh damn! No, well, no, Ark was. Oh, I'll count. I counted that then. Uh, well, not next generation, but um, Ark. So they they had a plan. They they had this investment. They built Ark one in six months. But obviously, as soon as they started getting close to release, that's when they hired uh, Instinct Games. Mm. And Instinct Games were the guys that were meant to pull Ark onto Xbox. Yeah. And I think they they did. And they were then once they'd done that job. Then they had to start working on Scorched Earth or were working on it at the same time. As far as I know, my memory's hazy or I've got stuff wrong. They were working on Scorched Earth and the Scorched Earth DLC was meant to be with full release. It was meant to be that incentive to come back to the game if you played it during early access. Scorched Earth was going to be the DLC add-on. Um, but they had to release it early because of the court case. Um, mm. That's why Scorched is a little bit less empty. It's got some great mechanics, but actually, it's a it's a pretty decent map. It's functional. It, it plays well. And there's not that many problems with with Scorch's other maps and stuff. But yeah, so they always had that in plan for consoles. They did. It was never going to yeah. be just a PC game. They always had it in mind to put it out on consoles as well. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Nah, that's it really. We got um, just everyone just like hyped and excited, I guess. Mate, it's a big, big time. Honestly, I am I'm I can't wait. I'm gonna be there on the ground with you, mate, covering we've gotta cover the Summer Games Fest hundred percent and keep an eye on what's happening there. Uh, we do um is, is a possibility. We out, should we get on early? Should we do like a four o'clock start on the Sunday the twelfth? Why not? Chat, are you gonna be not? there? I'll be if there. you're gonna be there, hit like now. That's it. If you're going to be Big there, hit that like button. Big likes Four all rank. So that's going to be 11 and it, start hitting that. Eastern. Start hitting those sub buttons across both of us. You're going to need it because we're going to be yep. covering it all. But no, I think we, we're we starting with the Summer Games Fest, aren't we, mate? Is that the uh, one? Well, so Summer Games Fest will be... a No, the Xbox Professor Showcase will be on the 12th. And yeah, that yeah. starts when it starts. But yeah, we'll jump day. on a couple of hours before, yeah. So but, about 4 o'clock, two hours before. So about... That is about 11 o'clock Eastern, and that's about 9 o'clock uh, Pacific yeah. time. But we'll be keeping an eye on the Summer Games Fest, just in case. Yeah. I, I don't think it will, but I, just, I don't know. You could, the, it's worth keeping an eye out. That, you know, there's, there's, there's a slimmer of a chance it might drop then. But no, Xbox Game Showcase is the one. It's going to yeah, be a big probably. day. It's going to be a big day. Holy yeah, hell. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, and that's it. What I guess you're just getting final bits prepped, clearing out your your decks, ready for the map. I'm working on yeah. grounded because I'm expecting the 1.0 release date for that, so I want to get my hundred days finished. Oh. Um, and yeah, getting ready for this survival news to do oh, yeah. shorts and get everything ready. Oh mate, you are going to be busy. I do not envy you. Uh, yeah, I've got one game to cover. You've got like a hundred, so enjoy, yeah. enjoy that uh, tomorrow. Make sure to check it out. I've compared. I have slowed down the trailer to 0.25 speed and literally depicted every piece of the trailers to realise how different the official version will be to the modern version. I'm not joking. I'm not overestimating that. There is. Don't do a guide on it. You will see why in the video tomorrow. Plug it, plug, plug, plug. Go check it out. And that's mine. <laughs> Done. Dusted. Go. As ever, a pleasure to be with you, sir. Always, dude. Always. Go check out Jade. Hit that sub button. His link, link, address, whatever. That it's not his address. Don't check out his address. We don't we don't divulge that one. The link to his YouTube channel is in the description. And go check it out. Hit that subscribe button. We will be on Jade's channel next week talking about the up and coming. There's a lot of stuff to be excited about over that week. Can't wait. I'll see you there. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, oh, peace out.